So you're up on your ladder, trying to figure out how to trim wallpaper at the ceiling. Maybe it's ripping or tearing as you're trimming it, or maybe there's some paint from the wall that's up on the ceiling peeking out above your wallpaper panel. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to trim wallpaper and avoid those mistakes. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Adrian. I've been professionally hanging wallpaper in homes, businesses, and on TV sets since 2016. I'm here to obliterate confusion and anxiety from all things wallpaper. Let's get to it. Okay, anytime you're hanging wallpaper, you always want to have at least one or two inches extra at the top and also at the bottom of the baseboard to allow for unlevel walls. So normally I use a putty knife, but because there's a little bit of paint poking out on top of the ceiling that we want to hide, this putty knife, it's got a very crisp edge and it gets the wallpaper really tight to the ceiling. And that's normally great, but today we don't want to do that because we want to hide that little bit of paint peeking out. So my plastic wallpaper smoother, it is uh, several millimeters thicker. So I'm going to use this as my straight edge today and that will bring the wallpaper up just a, you know, a few more millimeters up onto the ceiling to hide the paint. So always make sure before you use your straight edge that you use your hands just to tuck the wallpaper into the edge between the wall and the ceiling. And then whether you're using a plastic smoother or your putty knife, when you're using it, you always want to use it to protect the wall. I have seen some people do this, which gives you the nice straight edge, but if your knife slips while you're doing the cut, you can cut right onto the wall of the wallpaper, which ruins the panel. Um, so it is best to protect the wallpaper and then use your guide as a straight edge. Now I left the blade on my knife dull to show you this. <gasps> Did you see how the wallpaper sort of bunched up? That's when it's about to rip or tear and the only way to avoid that is to change the blade on your knife often, like every panel. Trim at the top, trim at the bottom, break off your blade. You're even gonna notice right here the knife didn't go all the way through the paper. So you'll have to go back and trim it again. I created a whole playlist on trimming wallpaper and added a video on how to snap your cutter blade in it. I'll link the playlist at the end of this video for you. Remember to wipe away the excess paste with a wet rag so it doesn't dry and stain your ceiling. I've been asked if it's best to trim when wallpaper is wet or dry. Dry is definitely easier, but you don't wanna leave wet wallpaper up too long. The paste can stain your ceiling and if it's not cut right away, it might not stick to the wall properly. Just make sure you change your blades often and you should be okay. Here's that playlist I promised.